are down in Invercargill about to prepare the next phase of the installation of installing this 3.36 metre by 1.92 metre P10 screen here uh, in uh, Invercargill, the southernmost city here in New Zealand. And uh, we're inside the, uh, the uh, excellent Splash Palace. And uh, this is going to be one of the viewing positions here. And so uh, we're about to move on to the next phase and um, we're looking forward to some uh, good progress. So here we have our boxes of PLAS 480 cabinets. And as you can see there is uh, four panels in each carton. And so on the rear view you can see here Just doing a summary lineup, so see our stack here and, and uh, force all our parts here. So what we're doing now is this is the frame it's going to go on to, and we're looking at the frame from the rear. And so this frame can actually rotate, and you can see here and inside it's just a hollow cavity. And this is the view from up at the screen area, and as you can see, it's going to look pretty good. And we've got uh, one third of the screen in. It's all quite a tight, firm fit, but uh, it's coming together. And now we're down to the last. And we're down to the last two now. And they're going to go on these two holes here. So fitting the panels into the frame is a pretty straightforward process. We've got rear or front mount access brackets and in this particular case it's the rear access brackets we're using. And so simply a matter of attaching the brackets and fitting the system into place. And here we are down to the last panel, panel number 28. Gonna fit perfectly in this corner. So what we've wanted to show you in this video is how you can actually assemble your own LED screen using the PS480 cabinets. Now the cabinets as you can see, exactly very lightweight, very simple and easy for one person to pick up and install in the frame. So essentially you start off in the bottom corner, probably the left, right, it's a pretty matter, and you get the first corner aligned and you start working your way along columns and rows of just simply adding the panels and from the rear you have a person that's actually attaching the uh, bolts in through to the back of the cabinets. So these are rear access brackets that we're using because we are in this case able to access the rear of the screen and the front of the screen and so depending on your situ situation we will apply the correct brackets. And so as you can see now it's very easy and gone are the days when it's difficult and a lot of angst installing an LED screen. With our PLAS 480 we've changed that and now we're able to run any signal that you care to think of from a computer or the LED switcher. And so we've got all 28 panels up all uh, nicely fitting in there nice and snug on the rotating frame and that's going to be able to rotate all the way around and uh, give all these people in this end of the uh, pool a lovely view. So there you have it. It's uh, a completed 3.5 metre by almost 2 metre high LED screen designed to run 24 by 7. And so if this is something that excites you and you think you can use this type of technology display in your swimming pool venue, hotel complex, your private home, Give us a call, we'd love to talk with you and we can help you from anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching this video, contact details are now at the end of this clip 
and also on the associated text. We look forward to talking with you.